Ash Wednesday marks the start of Lent. Which is a season of repentance, a season of, of journey, carrying us through the whole uh, journey of the life of Jesus into Holy Week. Lent is also a time to live simply, which could make things a bit complicated for Christians celebrating Valentine's Day. Things like sweets, alcohol and meat are not allowed. One of the things we're encouraging people to do always is to be more deeply engaged in prayer, uh, in Bible study, um, and in self-examination. Even though people across Burlington are celebrating God, it's not stopping the flow of sweets at Lake Champlain Chocolates. Judging from the traffic we've seen yesterday and today, there's still plenty of people eating chocolate for Valentine's Day. The desire to indulge on this day of love is strong, so how can the faithful still celebrate and stay true to God? One thing is you could think about both of them as sort of acts of love and that Ash Wednesday is about love as sort of given to us by God and Jesus and Valentine's Day is sort of the personal way we might express that love to people in our lives. Could the match of these two holidays actually be a blessing, teaching us to love in an even more deeper way? Life is short and um, it's just a reminder that we just will not be here forever and what we're doing while we're here now matters. In Burlington, Jennifer Sheehan, NBC5 News.